Hello and welcome to another episode of Advanced React WordPress Theme Development. In the previous video, we learned about how to actually fetch the menus. Uh, you know, we you know that we can get menu objects over here, and in this video, we are going to learn about how to go ahead and display that onto the front end. Okay, so what we're going to do first is update our Next.js application with the latest version of Next.js, which is Next.js 10. I'm pretty excited about the features it offers. So you can see it's got the uh, built-in image component. Uh, I won't be using this because I think it's not stable yet. Uh, there are some issues going on, so I'll leave that one. There is internationalization routing available, so we'll check that out and try to implement it. Uh, you have analytics, we won't be doing commerce, React 17 support, uh, fast fresh importing CSS third party, all of these uh, blocking fallback for get static parts. So there's so many features basically it offers. So let's just update uh, it to the latest version of the next JS. So I'm going to say yarn add at yarn add next at latest. It's going to install the latest version of Next.js. Okay, and um, says that we should also update it to the next sev uh, React 17. So let's do that. So yarn add at React. So yarn add React at latest and react dom at latest let's do that okay great npm run dev perfect so we've got ourselves updated with the latest version of next.js and react and react dom which is great perfect I'm just going to quickly add some of the new pages that I created. So just to recap, we'll create a header menu and then just attach it to the HCMS header menu to, as a display location. And then I'm just going to go ahead and add some of the pages. Let's say blog or I can go with special journey memories about inspiration. Yeah, this is good. Let's add that. And let me just move these things around. I'm going to put about on top and that's it. Save the menu and same thing. We have to also create a footer menu if you haven't already created. So I'll do footer menus and attach it to the location. I will set the location to HCMS footer menu and create menu. And then I'm going to just add some of the pages to it. So let's go with uh, memories about, let's say, inspiration stories. Let's go with these ones for now. Okay, so save menu and that's it. And now if you go into the front end and you refresh, there you go, you get the header menu and the footer menu, which is great. Okay, awesome. Now we basically need a menu component. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my source and then inside of source I'm going to create a directory called components and I will create something called layouts layouts inside of this it'll be index.js and it's going to be the react it's going to be react component so it'll be layout in fact, I should rename it to layout and not layouts. Okay, I've got that. And it's layout equals. Okay, so this is where my layout is going to stay. Um, so I will say div. And this is going to get children. So I'm going to put children over here and export 
default layout. And of course I have to return it. Yep. We don't have to import React, it's already been imported by Next.js. So we can ignore this warning that we are getting. Okay. And now we'll go back to our front end and we'll go ahead and get rid of this div and I'll put layout over here. So I'll say layout and this will be the page content actually. Okay. So whatever you pass over here is going to be inserted as children inside of the layout. Okay. And we've already imported the layout on top, which is great. Now all I have to do is pass the menus to that. And in fact, I think we should pass the data instead of menus. So what we'll do is we'll say data equals that's it. And now this will have data available and data is something we're going to pass to this. Okay. Just be easier to pull things out from that. And now if I go ahead and console data in the layout, oops. So it will be data. So we will get the data here. I have to refresh it. There you go. Now you've got the menus, which is great. Awesome. Perfect. Now, the next thing we want to do is basically get the navigation. So if you go to tailwind.css.com slash component slash navigation, you'll be able to get this navigation from there. So all I'm going to do is copy that. So let's copy it. And then I should create a header component as well. So what I'm going to do is, in fact, let's keep the uh, header and footer inside of this. So let's do header index.js. Okay, so const, let me zoom it in. A lot of you have told me that I should zoom in, so I'll zoom in. So header return, this will be header. And inside of this, we want the navigation, so let's create one. So I'm going to create nav.js and const zoom it in nav equals return and this is where I'm going to paste this code. This is where the code will go for the navigation. And then I'm just going to do export default nav. And then I'm just going to use that inside of the header. And remember that we also have to export the header over here. And then over here, I'm going to use the navigation. So I'll say nav. Okay. And you also need to get the header over here. So let's do that. Header. And then let's pass the menus inside of the header. So I'll say menus equals data dot menus. In fact, it will be data dot menus dot header, right? Because we just want the header over here, header menus. Okay. So maybe you can say header menus. Okay. So let's do that. And I'm going to pull that off over here. So header menus. And if header menus does not exist, if is empty header menus and I'll import is empty on top is empty from Lodash. So it looks like Lodash is already present. I'm guessing that it should be there in the node module somewhere. Uh, let's take a look. E F G H I J K L. Yep, there is. So it looks like uh, when we install Next.js, it's all it already installed Lodash as one of its dependencies, which means you don't we don't have to install it separately. So this is great. Okay, 
So if you've got if you're checking if it's empty, then return null. Okay, and if it's not, then we've got the header menus and we're just going to pass that to the nav like so. Okay, let's go inside of the nav now. So inside of the nav, I'm going to get header menus. Again, same thing. If header menu does not exist, I would like to return null. Okay, and then it's already imported on top, which is great. Perfect. Now, let's just ensure we have got header menus here. Okay, there we go. We've got the header menus, which is perfect. And all we have to do is just loop through it and get that going. <clears throat> so I'm going to start with these menus first. Okay, so what I'll do is if you check, this is where the menus are being displayed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check if header menus dot length if it is so if it's if the header menu dot length then I'm going to paste this over here otherwise null and then we're going to loop through it so we'll say header menus dot map and let's put a question mark here dot map menu there we go let's get rid of all of this because it's just a repetition we already got a loop and this is going to be a link uh, in next year so let me show you how the navigation works in the how the routing works in Next.js. So say link next.js. So how do you use this link? So you've got a, so you can see that in order for us to use the client side transition between routes, we can get, we can use the link component and export it from the next link. For example, if you want to navigate to pages index.js or pages about.js, then you can use a link like this uh, slash, which will be taking you to root and this will be taking you to about, which is great. And then you just have to make sure that you put the anchor tag inside of it. And whatever class name you want to put, you can put it over here. So that's what I'm going to do now. So I'll say link. Okay. And make sure to import it from next. Import link. I guess. Yeah import link from next link which is great and make sure that the href now moves to the link and not inside of the anchor tag okay so this is going to go to the slug of that menu so let me see what we actually getting inside of the menus okay so let's go over here let's check so inside of menu you have the So inside of the menu, you have the label, the path, right? So it's the path that we are actually interested in, right? So what I'm going to do is I will say menu.node.path, right? Okay, so it's going to be menu.node.path. Okay, and we also need a key. Okay, so for the key, we can use the ID. So menu dot node dot ID. Brilliant. Now let's check. And then of course we want the label also. So menu dot node dot label. Label. Awesome, congratulations, you just got all of these pages. 
you've just got all of these menu items, which is great, perfect. Okay, now if you hover over it, notice what happens in the corner of the, uh, just above the inspect element, see what happens. You can see that it's actually taking me to that particular path. And some people like to have the trailing slash after the link. So if you want to do that, you can actually by going to nextconfig.js and setting this to true. And then if I now go ahead and run npm run dev and refresh, So notice what happens. Can you see there is a trailing slash after this? So you can actually add that if you want. It's up to you. Just have to set this to true, the trailing slash inside of the next config. Okay, great, this is awesome. So notice that we currently don't have any child menus and even in the menu, we haven't added any child menus, but if we were to make any of the child menus like so, we could do that. But uh, you also have to then make these child menu options over here. So we do have that in the query for sure, but uh, right now I'm not adding the child menu. I'm just going with the simplest way. Uh, and then in upcoming videos in future, I'm going to also add the child menus as well. Okay, I've done that for other projects of mine. So if you take a look at the other projects that I've done, I have got child menus as well. Maybe you can take a look at that. Uh, you can also look at this one uh gatsby wordpress theme you can look at this one which is gatsby wordpress theme this is where i have done the child menus as well but anyways all right so we've got our menus ready okay uh in the next video what we're going to do is we will go ahead and create all of these pages because remember that if i click on it it's going to go 404 why because that page does not exist in Next.js. It's just the route is available. And you know that in order for us to create the page, you actually have to create like, uh, for example, this one, it should be about.js. Like if I create a page about.js, like so, and do export default about, this is going to work. So if I click on about, you can see it goes to about. But that's not what we want because we want this pages to be created dynamically, right? So we're going to discuss that in the next video. Perfect. I hope you did like the video. If you did, please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Uh, do follow me on GitHub. My GitHub handle is Imran H. Sayyad. And if you like my work, please make sure to star my repository. And thanks to this 15 people who have starred my repository. And... Also follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is Imran H. Sayed. Okay, so I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you very much.